Hello, greetings in Christ. Wanted to share with you um, a little bit about one of our beautiful employees here, Cheryl, who you probably hear when you call in, and many of you obviously know her as you've stopped in over the years. So thanks, Cheryl, for being with us today. Thanks, Father. Um, awesome to have you. Uh, first of all, how mm -hmm. long have you been working at the parish? Well, I started here December 1st, 2010. So, 11 years, I guess, now. Just about 10 and a half years. And before that, I worked down at the Pastoral Center for the Diocese of Fargo. And I started there November 23rd, 2004. And I remember because it was two days before Thanksgiving, and they felt all bad because I just started. And they said, well, we can't really give you holiday pay for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I said, I don't mind at all. I'm working in the best place in the world. Well, second best after this. <laughs> awesome. So what are the, some of the, the things that you really enjoy about just greeting the people of Holy Spirit Parish? And well, I do, that's one thing I love about my job. It's so varied. Um, I get to do all kinds of things. Um, some of the best is helping people walk in the door when they walk in the door or when they call on the phone because you never know who or what you're going to get. <laughs> one time, um, it really stands out in my memory when I was first employed at the Pastoral Center, this person called and was looking for the name of the Grand Knight for the state of North Dakota. You know? So they call the diocese, and I'm sitting there going, hmm, okay, well, I'll have to get back to you. Who is this? And he says, well, I'm so-and-so, and I'm out in California, and I'm the publicist for Mel Gibson. And I went, really? You're the Mel Gibson? You know, <laughs> Passion of the Christ Mel Gibson? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. And for whatever reason, he wanted the name of the Grand Knight, and I said, well, hmm, interesting. So you never know who you're going to get when they call in. and So you always try and answer with a smile, you know, and help, be helpful. And that's, I really enjoy that. I'm kind of selfish that I like to help people, so it makes me feel good. Hmm. Well, I know that's one of the things that I and many of the staff, and I think of the parish, just really enjoy your, your smile and your cheer and just the, the atmosphere that you help create in the front office. So it's a beautiful, oh. beautiful thing. Thanks. Yeah, so what, um, do you have any kind of like, I don't know, share with us just like different God moments in your life? I know you're a beautiful woman of faith. Yeah, and uh, it, was, it was kind of a long time coming. I remember way back when I was in high school and um, there were, it sounds kind of silly, but you know, the, the people who hung out and with their Bibles, they were Jesus freaks. And I always felt akin to them than any other group. I wasn't a jock and I wasn't anything else. And so that kind of started it. But then, you know, you hit college and life happens, you drift away. And so I lived close to St. Mary's Cathedral and I'd always hear the church bells ring on Sunday, you know, it's like, ah, oh, I should go to church. And but then my mom got sick and it was really a strong pull. I wanted to take communion at her funeral and, you know, in good grace. And so then I started, I was never confirmed. So I went back and uh, started RCIA at the cathedral and got, I was close to being confirmed and my mom died in January, 2004. And I was coming into the church Easter 2004, so I got a dispensation to go have a communion at her funeral, and then came into the church. And so after she passed away, man, it was it was a rugged time. My mom was my rock. I was close to her, and so it was um, it was really difficult. So I, many days I sat in that cathedral and just okay, do something with me. I have no place to go. I don't know what to do. And uh, that was that was January. By November, I was working at the Diocese of Fargo. It's like, are you kidding? I'm working for the church, <laughs> the, the best place in the world, but, you know. So it was uh, a lot of steps to get there. So that was, that was my first actual slap-me-in-the-face kind of God moment. I've had other little ones. Um, driving, we just got in a van. I take care of a man in a wheelchair, and so it was a full-size van with a wheelchair lift, and we were getting ready to go out of town to visit his family. And had the van loaded up with gas, and it was we were just getting ready to leave, and I pulled up to a stop sign, and all of a sudden, boom, and the wheel had broken off the van. And all I could think of was a half hour more, we'd be driving 70 miles an hour down the interstate, and who knows what would happen. And so, wow. yeah, and as soon as the wheel broke off, and I looked, I went, Wow, the car is sitting on the ground and the wheel's broken out. And here comes a cop, pulls up, not two minutes, gets behind, picks up my wheel, puts it in the van, <laughs> called the tow truck. So it's like God really looks out. It may not be an obvious, 
oh, but you know, God really looks out for people. And I notice all these, these kind of interesting things. I have a lot of little God moments like that, you know. Angels are always working in my life here or there, so that's, that's always fun. You mentioned the sense of working at the diocese. Um, mm -hmm. when, what, what was it or who was it or how did, how did you end up here? Well, at the diocese I was three-quarter time. So I was half time at the reception desk and then I worked quarter time for the communications department. And I really wanted a full-time job. And so this position came open and <laughs> Several people said, you should apply, you should apply, and it's like, no, oh, well, I don't know, you know, Monsignor Wald, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know him all that well, and so it's like, okay, I'll apply, and I came t to the interview, and it's one of those, yep, I got it, I have to go make a decision now, and that was another God moment, <laughs> I, was, I was doing a story, my last story in the cathedral, and I'm kneeling <laughs> at the kneeler and I'm going okay Lord I need a really good let me know this is the right thing and the next day I got my answer <laughs> it's like yep this is the right thing to do and so I came to work here and I just decided I'm going to get along with this guy because you know he was um, Ger German German from Russia very German yes. yeah <laughs> and and so you know on the outside he's kind of mm, but you know on the inside he was very tender and I miss him and so I came to work here and we had a good good relationship you know, I teased him, he teased me. My dad was German also, so I understood that German teasing kind of thing. So we uh, started here December 1st, and it was a really good move. So I've awesome. enjoyed it ever since. Awesome. Yeah. Well, myself and on behalf of the whole parish, just thank you so much for all the beautiful work and your well, commitment thank you. to here. So thank you. Yeah, I, well, it, it, this is pretty much first in my life, you know, That's coming, awesome. getting to work, you know, so awesome. and uh, helping. Good. Well, thank you for, for joining us and um, getting a little um, sneak um, view, us, so to speak, into um, Cheryl, uh, one of our employees' lives. So thank you and have a, a blessed day. Bye. Thanks.